Knowing the exact date when the polling centers will open for Kenyans to choose their next crop of leaders is just as important as who the chosen leaders will be. Those aspiring to succeed President Mwai Kibaki are on the campaign trail hoping for a head start when the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission rings the bell for the final lap. Despite the rush, no one is sure when the bell will ring, so to speak. The intention of the constitution enacted in 2010 was to level the playing field by eliminating an advantage previously held by an incumbent president who solely determined the election date. <laughs> Unlike his predecessor, President Mwai Kibaki does not have the exclusive power to set the ball rolling for the general election. However, his co-principal in the Grand Coalition government, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, has given a hint that elections could be held this year. Eh? According to Justice Minister Mutula Kilonzo, there is need for Kenyans to have a specific date in order to facilitate smooth planning for the next general election. My bill is still on the table. It is now mature. As, as soon as Parliament resumes, we can debate it and either enact it or reject it. But the, the fact of the matter is that, unlike the two options created by the court, my bill create certainty, not just for this year's general election, but for years to come. The Elections Act is pre predicated on the fact that within six months you must do this, within three months you must do this. Public officers who intend to contest in the next election ought to resign seven months before the election date. Fundraising or harambees should end eight months to the election date. Another rule states that a political party should nominate its candidate for an election at least 45 days before a general election. Some say without a specific date, these timelines in the calendar cannot be enforced. The Committee on the Implementation of the New Constitution, CIC, on the other hand, says there is no crisis. The Commission's chairman, Charles Nyachae, says planning for the election can be pegged on the March 2013 option, counting backwards. That uh, is the longest period, that, that, that fifth anniversary, as far as the court is concerned, is when the, the full term expires, and then that, that is the, the, the uh, point at which um, the reference to which uh, an election date uh, would be fixed. The question is, what if politicians, political parties and the IEBC were to plan with the 2013 date in mind, then all of a sudden the two principals announce an earlier date? Uh, Alex, I, in, in that eventuality, I, I, there would clearly be um, a, a, another issue for the court to interpret. But uh, my point is this, in terms of the court decision, unless it's overturned, the latest point at which we can have an election uh, would be the 14th of March uh, uh, 2013. Others argue either way political parties should just go ahead and fulfill the necessary conditions for any eventuality. The Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill before Parliament proposes that a general election be held every third Monday of December in the fifth year of the term of Parliament, meaning for this year, if the bill were to be passed, the election would be held on the 17th of December. Trust me, the 11th Parliament will still require to amend the Constitution. And the principle of human affairs is, when you find something that is not good, you better correct it then. But if you find something that is good, you leave it where it is. I wouldn't really uh, be too concerned about that. Uh, and I, I don't think it's something that should unduly uh, worry us the issue of uh, the date. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is yet to comment on the matter, with observers saying it remains a delicate issue for the commission to delve into. Alex Chamwada, 
for Sunday Live.